Hello everyone. Welcome to Cloud Solutions Academy. So in this fixed episode, I'll be talking about the top four cloud technology trends for 2022. The first trend I would like to talk about is the hybrid with multi-cloud strategy. Now cloud forms the backbone of many critical applications and with many significant outages from major cloud providers last year, it would be essential for enterprises to embark on a multi-cloud strategy, primarily to mitigate risk around single point of failure. So in a hybrid with multi-cloud strategy, application runs on-premises as well as over multiple cloud providers, providing data governance, disaster recovery, and risk mitigation, and at the same time being agile and scalable. With this approach, critical applications and governance function can work with virtually no or very minimal downtime. And you will also see a lot of developments in hybrid with multi-cloud space from infra modernization, mainframe and legacy migration, data mobilization, integration, tooling, and scaling for hybrid with multi-cloud adaption. The second trend I would like to talk upon is a unified cloud platform. One platform for hybrid, multi-cloud, and edge. Now a unified cloud platform provides a single and consistent, secured, and policy-driven managed environment to run your workloads on-premises, hybrid, multi-cloud, or be it edge environments. Now with 5G gaining momentum and the buzz around metaverse, the next generation application would drive new set of requirements like near real-time decision making, low latency streaming requirements, gaming and virtualized experience, immersive experiences, and the whole notion of collective intelligence. I talked about hybrid and multi-cloud earlier, but I envision edge applications to drive this new set of requirements for cloud. Now, as we move towards these various deployment models, we would need a consistent methodology to build cloud application once that can be deployed on virtually any environment. Secondly, governance, data residency, security of applications running on various environments and regions would require some form of centralized policies that can be applied and monitored across your environment. The unified cloud would provide these core capabilities and in my view would be one of the key propositions going forward being offered by major cloud vendors in future. Now let's talk about the third trend, the move towards sustainable computing, tools and insights. Now all the major cloud providers have already embarked on decarbonizing their data centers. For instance, Google Cloud is already carbon neutral today and plan to run on carbon free energy by 2030. So last year we saw a glimpse of the carbon footprint calculators provided by some of the major cloud vendors which allows you to measure and track carbon emissions associated with your cloud projects. This is definitely a good first step to gain insights into carbon emissions for your application. In my view, this year sustainability would start going mainstream and we would see sustainability as one of the key pillars while designing and deploying cloud application. You would see tools being provided by cloud providers to provide deeper insights into carbon footprint of your application in terms of design, infrastructure, cloud sourcing being used, networking, storage, and suggest various optimization. For instance, you would get insights on which region and what time to run your workloads, how to optimize your server hardwares like GPUs, TPUs for machine learning, insights on network bandwidth usages, and how to minimize the data transfer for your application. Measuring carbon footprint of the application would be part of the DevOps process and might even make it to one of the key SRE principles to track and reduce. Now let's move on to my fourth trend, which is 
the move from server to serverless architectures. Serverless technology basically removes the overhead of managing the cloud infrastructure and allow enterprises to focus on executing business functions. Designing cloud applications with serverless option would be one of the key criteria going forward from cost and optimization perspective. And in turn, cloud platforms would use intelligent compute and scalable options based on your application demands. So this would lead to better resource utilization for development workloads and even for startups and small case businesses to quickly try out and scale ideas, products in production without worrying about the constant cloud cost. Now with the move towards sustainable computing, serverless would be a good option from cost, optimization, and keeping the carbon footprint of your application under control based on your workloads and application requirements. The serverless momentum will continue to grow further and we would see new serverless options and additions of serverless capability to existing cloud offerings. I also feel uh, you might see a lot of standardization evolve in this area which allows you to run serverless technology in a vendor neutral way across hybrid and multi-cloud providers. So to summarize the trend for 2022, various innovation would continue to happen in the cloud computing space to help organizations modernize existing application and build new sustainable cloud solutions that can seamlessly run anywhere, be it on-prem, hybrid, multi-cloud, or on the edge environment. With this, I conclude my this week's episode. Hope you found the information useful and please do subscribe to the channel to receive regular updates. Thank you for watching.